police don't necessarily have to have probable cause to initiate some type of casual encounter with an individual. So let's just say you're walking on the street and the police suspect that you may be loitering or engaging in some type of narcotics transaction. They can come up to you. They can start to engage in some discourse. They can ask you if you consent to a search of their person. And if you say yes, all bets are off. They can search you. So it's very important when law enforcement is endeavoring to initiate some type of casual encounter on the street that you simply say, I would like to go on my way. I don't wish to speak to you. I don't consent to any searches if they ask for permission. If police have concern for their safety, they can do what's called an external pat down of your person to check for weapons. That's essentially all they can do. However, in the course of doing that pat down, if the police feel what they reasonably believe to be drugs, such as a balloon of heroin or a hypodermic needle, they are then allowed to reach in and seize that item. If you refuse to consent to let the police search you and they want to do a full on search of everything in your pockets or everything in your purse or your backpack, then they either need a warrant or probable cause. And quite often the police really have neither a warrant nor probable cause. And this, again, underscores the importance of not consenting to let them search. Because as long as you don't consent to let them search and they don't have probable cause, then they really only have two options. One is they can just let you go. And the other is they can search you illegally, in which case we can go later and challenge the search and most likely get the evidence thrown out of court. Here in Nevada, an illegal search of your person can be challenged by way of a motion to suppress evidence. If the motion to suppress evidence is granted because the police unlawfully searched your person, the evidence that is recovered would be thrown out and the case against you would most likely be dismissed. So often I talk to people who consented to a search in this situation and I ask, why did you agree to allow the police to search your person or your backpack or your purse or your car? And they say, well, I thought if I refused consent, they would do it anyway and I would be in even more trouble. And if they're going to search anyway, let them search anyway. As long as you didn't consent, then we always have the right to go into court and challenge the search and if we're successful, get the evidence thrown out of court. But once you consent, all bets are off. You've given up your rights and you've really taken away our power as defense lawyers later to go back and challenge the search and get the evidence excluded.